All right, folks, getting ready to start back up. Gotham City Technology is the IT guy to go to. Mr. Ron Mason hanging out in the chat room right there with us, along with Diana Hoppy, who's distributing the Earl Strickland Road Stories 2, now available on DVD, 843-838-7770, or pullpicks at earthlink.net, or you can elect to go over to dianahoppy.com. We're getting back to the action. As we're watching the mighty Earl Strickland rack it up. He trails here by one game. It's been nip and tuck all the way. Tup and nick, tup and nip, nip and tuck. Here we go. Back to the action. I'm upstate out with AZB TV. You're watching a co-production. NYC Grind jumping on board to bring you this great match. One of three days. This is the last day. This is the 10 ball race to 21 between Earl Strickland and Mr. John Mora as the 10 ball almost goes in. It would not count though. Some of the folks watching the stream tonight, David sent this one in. He also sent one in the night before. You can see the pool magazine in the back along with many patches from the APA. I'm going to refresh my chat because soon enough we're going to be giving away another set of photos to a lucky member that's signed into the chat. You must be signed in to be eligible to win the photos. Each photo, it's a five by seven picture of the players playing tonight. They will be autographed. Oh, they are autographed already and I got them packed up. First winner was Gentle Ben, and I did receive his address. I'll be shipping that out as soon as I can. And at 10.45, we will be locking the chat down once again. 15 minutes from now, it's now 10.30 on the East Coast. 15 minutes from now, we're wrapping the chat up and locking it down. You must be signed in the chat to be eligible to win set of photos one picture of each player autographed and I'll give you a shot of that as John is running out here it is the Earl the Pearl photo that will be autographed by Earl Earl came in a little bit later so I had John sign the other ones John signed his that's John Moore's signature and he also prints out Canada on it so both photos in the set autographed by the players. 10.45, lock in the chat. As John Moore wants to expand his lead, he leads by one right now, 11 to 10. I gave you a, a preview of the trailer of the Earl Strickland DVD Road Stories 2 but you really can't appreciate it as much as you can by going over to dianahoppy.com and going to the link above the website that says DVD. <coughs> Excuse me, DVD, and you can actually watch the trailer right there. There's the link. Just click that link right there. It'll take you right there, and you can purchase your Road Stories 2 from Diana Hoppy. As John Moore is looking to expand his lead once again by two games, and he does. It's now 12 10. And don't forget about the Kings of Billiards right here where this event has taken place. We have an eight ball tournament going on every Friday night. So if you're in the listening area and would love to play in the eight ball tournament, all you have to do is come on by to Kings of Billiards 
It's $15 entry fee. They also have a nine ball event. And a 10 ball event. And Jimmy says to check out his Facebook page and we're gonna take a shot over there in just a sec. As John Mora breaks in game 23. Leads here 12 to 10. 12 minutes will lock in the chat down. John Moore smashes him and crashes him. Everything looked like it was running for the holes, but nothing drops. Earl Strickland coming to the table with not much to look at but a safe. Unless he wants to go for a bank. I'm not sure if he has the opportunity to bank this, but he was a banking demon the other night. He was banking balls in at 9,000 miles an hour into the side pockets. So if he does have the shot, we might see him play it. Earl Strickland won the nine ball banks, and he won the nine ball yesterday. Safety, Safety called. And believe it or not, the cue ball and the one ball found each other. Beautiful safe right there. Accurate speed. The cue ball behind the 3 7. Safety call by the Pearl. Two rails. Don't tell me Eddie the Lock's in the chat. You follow Eddie the Lock? Are you in the chat? Safety call this time here. The speed's a little off, and it looks like Earl is going to have a shot into the side pocket with the one ball. does not make the one ball but as we got an opportunity we want to say hi to Mr. Larry Ross and his wife Cece that are watching right now baptismal of their granddaughter Eva this Sunday congratulations guys and thank you for your support Mr. Ross you do so much for the game we all know it for those of you that don't know Larry Ross you usually see him hanging around with Earl or Rika Jason Shaw numerous players Always supporting the game and putting challenge matches together alongside Manny Anna and the whole crew down at Steinway Billiards. We hope they're watching this. Steinway Billiards, the story of Queens, New York. Different, a different Johnny Moore tonight, that's for sure. John Moore seems like he's in full punch. Yes, congratulations, Larry. Absolutely. I know Larry a long time. You gotta love him.
draw the cue ball off the long rail, come right back out for the nine in the same pocket. John Mora now expanding the lead, 13 to 10. Earl is fired up. You didn't see him, but I seen him off cam. Look up at the beads. He looked up at the score. I'm looking for him to turn this up a little bit on this break right here. He's looking to make a ball. It's the best break cue he says he had since the shuttle took off. The best invention. Well, everything got smacked together. Sound like one of those click clack. Is that what you call them? Those click clacks? Used to be like two glass balls. We played with dangerous toys. They were like glass balls on a string. <laughs> Click clacks. Back then, forget about it. Every company would make whatever they wanted and put it out there. Today you make something like that, you better make sure that it doesn't chip or else you'll have Don't Worry Murray, the lawyer, on calling you up. Don't Worry Murray is actually a lawyer. You can Google him and YouTube him. It's called Murray Richmond. He's a, a lawyer called Don't Worry Murray out of New York. Said, yeah, click clacks, something like that. Man, it was dangerous toys. <laughs> you're looking, you're talking about the two huge balls on a string. Yeah, that's them click clacks, I think they called them. Well, don't worry, Murray was actually a lawyer who worked for every mob family in New York. You can sweat his YouTubes. And Upstate Al did use them at one point. Here we go. Don't blink right now. Earl is on fire. He wants to make it close. And he's going to make it close. As long as the table doesn't get him. He says that the table's playing a little fast. The air conditioner is on in here. Hey, P1. Nice to see you. Nice to see everybody out there watching this match. Thank you. Four minutes, we're going to lock the chat down. Make sure you're signed in to be eligible to win the two 5x7 photos of the players autographed. We will ship them out to you free of charge. And then at 11 o'clock, we're locking the chat down and giving away a Earl Strickland Road Stories DVD. The new Road Stories DVD, courtesy of Diana Hoppy. So, 10.45, we're locking it down for the pitches. And 11 o'clock, we're locking it down for the Road Stories 2, the new DVD. That one right there. Earl the Pearl Strickland to make it 11. There you have it. A 12, a 11 to 13 in favor of John Moore. We'll race into 21. That's the DVD right there. We're going to lock the chat down. 
at 11 o'clock and put those names into the generator for that Road Stories 2. Or you can purchase them simply by going to that link in the chat right there at dianahoppy.com. Lockdown. AZB TV lockdown. Two minutes. Two minute lockdown for the pitchers. Five by seven photos autographed. John Moore and that's Earl's and that will be autographed. In fact it is already. I have them right here in my possession. Not going to leave my sight. John Moore leads 13 to 11 and breaking. One ball track and gets kicked. Four ball gets kicked in by the one. He has a wide open one, but not a good shot at it. Two minutes to forget about it. Yeah, fudge get about it. You know what I mean? Listen. Leave the gun, get the cannolis. I keep elbowing one of the <laughs> one of my buddies here. We actually went in a dollar a piece on one of these crazy machines, and we spent a lot of time. I keep elbowing every time I go over to the soundboard. Sorry about that. Earl studying the table a little bit. I believe he called cross side. I got to take a better look at this. No, he's playing it right into the side pocket, I guess. That's what he did. Watch the rock. Seven coming back at it. Earl says that was a hell of a shot right there. Safety call by Earl. Uses the seven ball, big seven ball. To, oh, and the, and the eight. Wow. How do you hit this? Safety call. Would you get in trouble? Yeah. Ball in hand, no rail. Of course you would. We got fine folks. We got a nice group of folks hanging out. We would all get your address and come down here and rip your cable wires right out of the, the household you live in. <laughs> we'll send the guys with the limo to do that. <laughs> all right, back to the action. Earl got a shot on the two ball. The thing is to hold the cue ball. Oh, he's got, yeah, he's got the side pocket. One or two rails just above the 10 ball for the five ball into the bottom left-hand corner. Yes, the chat was locked down. You can bet on that. My, uh, my son is the gatekeeper. some of the chat it's it's so funny what some of us come up with and Earl Strickland trying to come up with another bead he trails here 13 or 11 he's looking to close the gap he's in good position to do so
draw it right back down and right back up for straight in position on the 10. The power stroke. Earl the Pearl Strickland saying, hey, there's no give up in this guy. Sending out signals, smoke signals. He's on fire. Still trails by one, but cutting the lead a lot closer. How about for NYC Grind? NYC Grind jumping on board to co-produce this live stream. We got to give a big shout out to them. They're back in New York City, and Allison Fisher's probably landed already. She was flying at 30,000 feet. Eddie the Lock, the Afala. Allison Fisher back in the city. 13 to 12. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that just woke me up. All right, folks, the chat is going to go nuts to find out who the generator picked out to win this one. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Tester. Out of all people, seven, almost 700 people in here. Tester is the winner of the set of pitches from each player that is signed and autographed. Tester. <laughs> But a small world tester, if you're in the chat, let it be known. Get out there in the chat and let us know that you're here. There he is. Testa says, Cosmo. Testa, do me a favor. Congratulations, first of all. And when you get a chance, send your name and your address in my email, upstatealpool at gmail.com. Congratulations, sir, ma'am, whoever you might be. UpstateOutPool at gmail.com. Send your name and address, and we'll get those photos out to you that are autographed by each player as soon as we can. Chat is being locked down in nine minutes. Nine minutes to show time to give away the DVD Earl Strickland Road Stories 2. You got to be signed in. 11 o'clock rigged. <laughs> can you imagine? Tester. <laughs> Okay, the pearls that work. He trails here by one, 13 to 12. Tester is Todd, Todd Nevins. Is it really? Todd, if that's you, is it really? <laughs> if that's you, then I'll see you in November 15th through the 16th. I'll just bring him with me. Todd, is that you? Last time, it is Todd. Todd, I'll, I'll personally hand them to you when we come up to Snookers. <laughs> Last time we gave away a pay-per-view event, the full pass for the pay-per-view. Who won it was uh, Pat Fleming's brother, Pete, <laughs> from Florida won that one when we did the Jason Shaw and Shane Van Boning. <laughs> All right, Todd, I'll see you on the 15th, 16th. Meanwhile, back at the office. Eight minutes to show time. We're going to lock it down once again for the Earl Strickland Road Stories 2 DVD. I'll have those two photos for you.
Look at the pearl work. Perfect. Do you get any better than that? He's looking to tie this match up. This crowd is going to go nuts. For the last couple of days, it's been kind of lopsided, you know what I mean? And right now, they're getting excellent pool. 13 to 13. It's got the ingredients of going hilla hilla. Accustats making it happen November 6th through the 9th. Prior to that, they're going down. In fact, they're leaving in a couple of days, I would imagine, for the U.S. Open down in Chesapeake, Virginia. They'll be bringing us that live stream. Get to Accustats.com. They got packages, I'm sure, on their website, Mr. Jim Fredericks and crew that work with Pat Fleming. Get over there to Accustats.com. You can watch the U.S. Open live, plus... On November 6th through the 9th, you could watch this Make It Happen event coming up right here in New Jersey in Sandcastle Billiards in Edison, New Jersey. Here we go. John Morris set the break. Game 27. I'm going to try, Jarrett. Believe me, if I can make it, I'll make it. Three ball into the corner pocket. Stop the rock right there or draw it back a couple inches. Put a four ball in the upper right hand corner or in the side he can draw all the way back. He elected to play the corner. Come right back out to the center of the table one rail or try to hold the cue for the five. He's probably going to just hold the cue right there for the five ball. This is quite obvious. One rail back out for the six. I don't think he's going to draw around the seven, but he can if he wants to. Likes to go two rails back out to the center of the table. Perfection. four minutes until we lock the chat down for the DVD Road Stories 2 courtesy of Diana Hoppy. Somebody will win that tonight. Both John Mora and the Pearl taking no prisoners tonight, Friday night. Race to 21. Ten ball, alternate breaks. Call shot, call safety. Locked down in the dock town. Johnny Mora answers back 14 to 13. Match in progress. Big shout out to everybody watching, everybody that signed in, everybody that's not signed in. We thank you so much. Ron the Rhino Mason watching back from New York City along with some other viewers either on the East Coast, West Coast, Mid Coast, maybe overseas. There's our man Jared right there. Tommy Sermonero, young Tommy and young Earl. Earl staying at Tommy's house there. Earl says, rack him up because I want to smash him. Listen in. 
Hits him solid. Plants the cue ball. Dead center. The fall ball and the, the fall ball and some the fall ball hung up, but something fell into the corner pocket. I took my eye off the table. Looks like the two ball. Bottom right hand corner. Pearl says he's got no luck, but he really well. he smashed him. He planted planted the cue ball. I'm I'm looking for him to kick this one ball and call the four in the corner. You're right, the three ball fell also, the two and the three, but the four is hanging in the upper left-hand corner above the six. I'd like to see Earl kick into this one and call the four, but if anybody knows the shot, Earl's got the cue stick and I got the headset. Push out cold. If there's enough of that one ball to see, John Moore can play the carom into the four. Using a little left-hand English and letting the cue ball run into the four, but you gotta control the one. John Moore says, no, I'm not taking it. You deal with it. Earl calls safe right away. Safety called. And this is, looks like a little window between the five nine. Four ball maybe. Ooh, he had the one. Beautiful shot. Nice shot by Earl Strickland. The chat has been locked down, folks. Somebody's going to win that DVD, Road Stories 2. Just give us a little time to get all that set up and generated, and we'll be right back with a, a winner. Strickland tie it up? Absolutely. But right now he trails by one. Look at this. How about making the cue ball dance? He wanted to get around that nine. He got a little love tap there. There you have it, 14 to 14. Earl Strickland ties it up.
That's correct, race to seven from here. We want to say thank you to everybody that's uh, watching and viewing this. We hope you're enjoying as much as enjoying the stream as much as this pool room. I'll tell you what, this crowd has grown and it's taken up three quarters of the pool room here. John Mora set the break. We're tied at 14 apiece. Three ball. Went around the table, the five ball drop. One of those crazy angle shots on the one, but take a good look at the four nine. It's gonna create a little bit of havoc for John. It's an easy safe. I mean, if you get straight on the four, you can play a safe, tighten up right against that nine ball, but he wants to run out. One of the hardest shots for a pool player are these angles here. When they're longer distance, man, it's brutal. John Mora sinks that one. House position on the two ball, though. Just by telling us, as he took a look at it by his body language, that it didn't go. See him shaking his head. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the positive feedback. Any feedback, but we like the kind words. Safe. Safety cold. Not quite going to get there. But still the four ball and a nine ball are going to create some kind of problem. But, but the position that Earl's in right now, Earl can actually run into this. See what he elects to do. He might just elect to play the safe. He's playing the carom. Right to the upper left hand corner beside the Simona's banner. He's made it. He's got a shot on the four. The problem is he's on the wrong side of the four. He's got to work the cue ball around for a long shot on the six unless he can get closer. shot on the six ball. Earl the Pearl Strickland takes the lead here. 15 to 14. Check my email. Okay, going for it.
15-14, Earl Strickland. Earl Strickland just broke seven balls, hanging up near the side pocket as a nine finds the side pocket on the opposite side, along with the one. Great shot on the two, great by, break by the Pearl. Here's our, one of our moderators right here. Too slow for me, Jimmy Baby. Thank you so much, Jimmy, for your support and help. Give you another shot of him. Hard at work all the time, helping pool, no matter who's streaming. Too slow for me. Thanks, Jimmy, for sending that in. Slow is a really nice guy, I tell you. I spoke to him many times on Skype. And it looks like Earl Strickland is going to go up by two, once down by three. Looks like he's about to take the lead by two now. How the tides shift here. Notice the rhythm. Earl finds that rhythm. You can forget it. All you're going to see is dust. There you have it. 16 to 14 in favor of Earl, the Pearl Strickland. The young lady sent a photo in yesterday and we get a chance to put it up tonight. Sierra, thank you for your support. Mr. Moore says, let's get back to the action. Okay, the winner of the DVD, Earl Strickland, Road Stories 2, is Just a Break, J-U-S-T-A-B-R-A-K-E, Just a Break. Congratulations, you have won the Earl Strickland Road Stories DVD part Two, courtesy of Diana Hoppy, who happens to be here in the chat room. When you get a chance, make yourself acknowledged in the chat. Let us know you're there. Just a break. Spelled B R A K E. just a break if you're out there and you're listening in watching it on big screen get back to the chat
Safety call by Mrs. Strickland. Guys, let me know if just a break types in there, Jimmy, or one of the moderators. I gotta watch the monitor here as safety play continues. John Mora probably gonna go to his break queue. I mean his jump queue. Might jump this. He's definitely measuring it up. Kicking at it, colon safe. Dangerous shot, you don't want to leave Earl in the open here. <coughs> Looks like a well played shot. Earl might be trapped up at least a half a ball behind that six or a quarter. Thank you Anya for all your help. Tracy always on the job. Who was the winner here? Just a break. Just a break. All right. Too slow for me. Put him on the clock, I guess. Give him that countdown one minute. Right now it's 11.16. You can go by your clock. Give him a one minute countdown. Whoever it might be, just a break. You have to acknowledge by typing in the chat, you are the winner of the Earl Strickland Road Stories 2 DVD. You have one minute to type in the chat. Jimmy, you got the clock. As soon as Jimmy, the moderated error, says time's up, we'll go back and we'll have to do a regeneration. How about that? <laughs> a new generation. <laughs> Just a break, must have took a break. Just to make another winner. <laughs> wow, nice kick shot. Look at the cue ball's gonna get a little ducked in behind that one. And Earl Strickland says, shoot the ball. Johnny Moore is up at the table. He's calling the one ball as you saw. He tapped his cue stick on the corner pocket. It'll be the bottom left-hand corner. 16 to 14, Earl Strickland. He's won game um, day one and day two. And this is tight. Nice kick shot by Johnny. Two rails. Kicks it in. And Earl can't believe it. Earl's sitting in his seat and he can't believe it. All right, too slow for me, says 15. I guess that means 15 seconds. Four seconds, three seconds. Too slow for me is on a countdown. You follow. Time is now up, folks. You gotta give us some time to put this back in the generator because we gotta lock the chat down again, so. Let's do 11:20 um, on the East Coast. So two minutes. We're going to lock the chat down. If you're not signed in, you got two minutes to get signed in, and we're going to do a redraw. We're going to have to lock it down again. Two minutes to lockdown time. Meanwhile, trying to lock this game down in place is Johnny Mora. shape for the six ball slide over just a little bit for the seven not much you don't want a real severe angle just slide over a little bit 
perfect angle to draw back, play the eight ball into the side pocket. Yes, the lockage and the redraw is going to take place in one minute. If you're not signed in, get signed in. Earl Strickland, Road Stories 2, DVD, the new one. Meanwhile, John Morris says it's a new day. And I'm not going away, he's telling Earl. He's looking to put up another bead as he's got the cue ball on a string. Three rails around, perfect shape for the 10 ball in the bottom right-hand corner for the win. John Mora. Bada bing, 16 to 15. $3,000 up for grabs. It's $1,000 per discipline. Right now, Earl's won two. Johnny looking to take this one in and win $1,000 for this discipline. Earl's telling the audience they shouldn't even clap on that one. <laughs> they gotta love them. Give me two seconds, I gotta get a swig of water. Six ball fell into the. Safety called as you see Little Eva on the screen getting baptized this Sunday. Larry Ross and his wife watching the stream. Beautiful safe played by the girl. Puts the cue ball tucked in behind the five. Okay, if there was ever a magician, this is the time to come with it. Pulls the corner pocket. Johnny Moore kicking at this one, trying to kick it in the bottom left-hand corner. Ball in hand. Earl Strickland. 16 to 15. Do I have that score right? Yes, I do. I hope I do. All of a sudden, I just got a brain fart. I was like... I thought Moore was in the lead. It's been going back and forth all day long. Moore up by two, Moore up by three, Earl up by two, Earl up by three, and it's going back and forth. So I'm like deja vu. I'm looking at it, I'm saying, wait a minute, do I have it right? Safety called. How about trying to plant the cue ball within the nest between all those eggs there? Safety called. We're back at the chess match. Looks like John Moore is going to play the Z shot. Back and forth. Two rails into the one. If he goes three rails, he's got to make sure he gets a rail with the cue ball or the one. Got the rail. And how does it look now? It looks like it's a kick safe. Or else it could only happen to me.
cue ball escaped a couple inches. Great attempt by Earl. This looks like it's going to be a fight to the finish. Okay, Tracy starts getting the popcorn going. Safety call. Watch the cue ball get nestled in between the 9 and 10 ball right next to the 8. Oh, he hit it. He hit the 9, but he's got the wall of China. How about this? And the one ball ducked behind the 3-5. Safe. Earl calls safety. Safe. If anybody can figure this out, it's the man at the table here. He hits this. This crowd is going to go bananas. This is jacked up. Two to three rails into the one. Now he caught the other side of the five. You know, there's so much trouble here on the table. I wouldn't. I'm surprised you're not cheering. He had a V safety. You saw that? Look at that. It's a great safety. All right, Al. Good night. Thanks for uh, tuning in, Al. Appreciate it. You know, from here, you got to play a save. you got to try to get Earl on three. I mean, the four, seven, eight are in trouble. I, I would love to see uh, John Moore try to get Earl on three in this one. Or at least take another shot at, you know, bringing the one ball behind the V. But Johnny, maybe he's got something else in mind. He's going to play safe somewhere else. what John has in mind here, but we're going to find out shortly. Here it is, folks. A Lotus, L-O-T-U-S, 914. You have won the Earl Strickland DVD number two, the newest one out. Lotus. Acknowledge yourself in the chat, please. Lotus. Lotus nine one four. Are they in the chat? Lotus nine Lotus nine one four is in the chat. All right, congratulations! You have won the Earl Strickland Road Stories DVD number two. Please send your information to Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com, and we will get that out to you as soon as possible. I'll pass that along to Miss Diane Hoppy. And the DVD is courtesy of Diana Hoppy. Good hit, but it's cold shot. And cold safety. 
If you can get your information over to Diana Hoppy, which is Pool Picks by Hoppy, if you can get your information over to Diana, that would be okay. If not, you can send it to my email and I'll forward it to Diana. UpstateAlPool at gmail.com. And I'll get that forwarded over to Diana as soon as possible. Or you can PM your information to me in, in the chat. Look at this now. We're looking at possible 16 to 16 now. Bada bing, 16 to 16. Nip and tuck all the way. There you go, Diane. Darren Myers put the direct link to Diana Hoppy's website right there. We can purchase the DVD, Road Stories 2, Earl Strickland's. And yes, congratulations, Lotus. Let me see if you PM'd me at EZB here. You know what, Lotus? I'm going to send you a PM in the chat. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go, right here. Hey. All right, Lotus, I sent you a private message in the chat. So if you click on the icon, hover over the chat, you'll see the two little icons of people sitting side by side. You'll see a message from EZB TV. Okay, I got your name now. Just give me your mailing address and everything, and then I'll pass that right over to Diana Hoppy right through here. Okay, include your zip code and everything we need. Okay, got it. Got it all. Congratulations. Quite welcome. We're glad that you can actually get online and view it, and we, we, we appreciate your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the kind words there, Lotus. Okay, Diana, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this right over to you in a PM, and I'll tell you how to open up the PMs. Where are you anyway? Let's see. So many people logged in here. Safety called. Sorry for taking my eye off the screen there, folks. Doing a few things behind the scenes, as you know. Oh, you want me to? You want me to email it to the? Um, yeah, I'm all screwed up right now. Okay. I'm looking for you. You know what? I'll just put it in my, uh, I'll put it on my notepad, and then I'll get it over to you. All right, back to the action. Let's concentrate here. Hey, my chat was all the way scrolled up. I thought it was on auto. There we go. Oh, you think you can do it? Okay, then I'll, uh, 
Okay, then I'm going to send the NPM in here. Okay, and I just have to look for you in the chat here. Rob Lee in the house. Hey, Z Horse. Just saw you in there. Gee whiz, Diana, I'm having a problem finding you just in the chat room with this new interface they got here. So much easier when all you have to do is click on the name in the chat. Give me a little while, I'll get that out to you. Johnny Moore, in the meantime, is looking to make this a 17 to 16 game in favor of himself. Getting real close. And he does. John Mora now up by one, 17 to 16 over Earl. I mean, I just said it later. Okay, we'll do. I'll send it to your phone. How about that? Working on it right now. It's all right, you're better than me. Okay, Diana, that winner of that DVD is sent to your phone. So we got that. I also have a backup in case we need it. Two ball cold. Corner pocket back to the match. John Mora calls a nine ball in the corner pockets. Cold. Call shot, call safety. Watch the cue ball behind the three here. Might have got him so. You know what? He can actually jack up and spin this rock to make the two. We should be okay. Now you got issues. No pocket for the three ball. 
what you do is you jack up and you stick the cue ball right there and you bank the three up table near the 4-8 and you keep the rock behind the 10. I don't know what he's going for. Maybe the side pocket. Tough shot. Played the safe. John Mora now having a chance to go up by two games again. This has been seesaw. Back and forth. Two games up, three games up. Back to his, uh, the other opponent going up two games, three games. This has been uh, back and forth all night long. All right, Anya, you got the popcorn. Tell Carlos to get that butter melted in the mic because we're due for a hill of hill here. John Moore to the corner, three rails spinning out, way down table, plays it perfect. Saves the angle to get back up for the eight to the corner pocket. John Mora threatening to go up by two here. He plays it all the way up table. He wants to play the eight into the side pocket. He wanted to get up a little further than that, though. But he's going to swing it. John Mora, 18 to 16 over Earl Strickland in day three here. Don't count Earl out. Earl's far from counted out of this game. Something just lit Earl's fuse and we're about to see a, another virus go through this pool room because if Earl gets to the table, he will continue to shoot. But on, the only problem is it's alternate break. So it's kind of hard to come back here at this point of the match. Upstate Owl on Twitter, live stream news one, guys. You follow us, we follow you right back. As soon as they get a chance, we'll get over there. It's like a one-man band right here. Well, we're trying. And guess whose break it is? John Moore not only takes the lead, takes the lead on Earl's break. 18-16, racing to 21. Look at the one ball track, two ball comes around, three ball comes around, six ball finds the other corner. Do you bank the one into the six or you bank the one in the cross side? You know, it's an aggressive shot. Do you take that chance? Would you take it right here at the Kings of Billiards in Akron, Ohio? Let's see what John Moore has in mind. Bank safe. Rail to rail. Safe. Safety call by the Pearl.
John Moore has a shot on the one and a shot to go up. Even more games, he leads by three. If he can, I mean, he leads by two. If he can get this, he'll lead by three. And this is, to me, the one ball is the hardest shot on the whole table. I would have to bet Moore is getting out of here. Wouldn't bet against him, that's for sure. Almost here, pin drop. I'm telling you, this room is packed. The suspense will really get out. John Mora threatening to go up by three games towards the race to 21 is big. It's double big right here. And he does 19 to 16 in favor of John Mora out of Canada. Earl's break. We don't have any time for commercials. 19 to 16. Earl Strickland. I'm sorry.
little nudge right there hurt. The nudge off the five hurt. Not only did it hurt the position of the four ball, but now the position to get back for the five ball because they're not tied up, but no pocket for the five. Calling safe, trying to put the cue ball behind the five six coming in short. Oh, coming in long. Just back down table. You might see Earl the Pearl play the same shot. Made the four ball. John Moore's opportunity at the table. Call shot, call safety. Not only opportunity at the table, an opportunity to go to the hill. Johnny Mora to the hill, 20 to 16 over Earl Strickland. I'm Upstate Al with AZB TV, and I'm going to have to take this opportunity right now to thank everybody in the chat. Congratulations to Lotus and all the other winners. Uh, Gentle Ben, we got your information. Diana Hoppy has your information. I won DVD. Anya, slow mo holic, Stucker. Too slow for me. The whole moderation crew that's out there right now helping out. Everybody, I can, very, I tell you, it's impossible for me to go down this list right now with this match being where it is. I just want to say thank you to everybody that signed in and that didn't sign in for watching. I just want to say thanks right now because sometimes I don't get the opportunity and people just leave right after the match is over. So I just want to say thank you ahead of time. As we watch, John Mora set the break. He is on the hill in this race to 21 against Earl Strickland. The nine ball falls right into the side. The four gets kicked into the other side. The seven, was it the seven? No, the three fell into the corner. The one ball is lined up, all dressed up, ready to be taken out for dinner in the upper right-hand corner. different John Morris showing up today I'll tell you that much last couple of days it's it almost seemed like he had some kind of jet lag or something I don't know, like he wasn't he was there but wasn't there you know well, different uh, John Morris showed up today go across table just played his ball two rails back and forth he elected to try to hold the rock and he hit it perfect perfect with the capital P for pool, perfect. Capital P for pool picks. Make sure to check out dianahoppy.com. Get your orders in for Earl Strickland Road Stories 2. Also, Earl Strickland Road Stories 1. Just get on that website and take a look. This young lady's been doing so much, we owe her just to go send her an email and say thank you so much for supporting and doing all the work that you've done through the years and get those DVDs. Upstate Island AZB make absolutely zero on those DVDs, trust me. It's just one hand shaking another, helping fellow member in the pool world. And John Moore is not about to help Earl Strickland. He's going to help him get on that plane going back to New York City with the sinking of this 10 ball right here and winning this match. Johnny Mora. 
out of Canada as we hear the crowd erupt. Wow. We're going to raffle off that cue stick. I'm going to let the stream go. I'm going to give you a feel of the room, how many people are here. It's a great outpour, people standing, people still sitting. There's people surrounding this whole room. Absolutely. Chad said you can still hear the bitching be going on between the two players. <laughs> well, you know what? It's all been fun. It's been a great exhibition. I owe my gratitude to both players for putting on a great show here. Everybody out there in the chat, I'm going to let the stream go. They're going to pick raffle tickets. Whatever happens, happens. If it something jumps off, I'm staying. I got nowhere to go. Thank you, Anya. Appreciate it, and thanks for the kind words, everybody. I'm glad you all can get online and, and watch it. We will see you at the next one. I'm going to have to take a quick break. I'm a smoker. I'm a toker. I'm a midnight joker. Is that how it goes? <laughs> anyway, it's been a great stream. Great pool room. Make sure to come by and check out the Kings of Vapor. They opened up a room called the Kings of Billiards in Akron, Ohio here. There's the owner right there in front of you. Chad Molin. He's right there with his back turned to us. He's got a hustling shirt on. I asked him where's mine since you wore that one. It's too big for you, but he wouldn't give it up. He says he likes big shirts. He plans on eating a lot. <laughs> yeah, thank you to everybody out there in the chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> We'll get those prizes out as soon as we can. Just give us some time. Diana Hoppy's right on top of things. Um, so I imagine she'll get those out before I I still have a ride home about eight hours, eight and a half hours. <laughs> I believe what they're doing now is you see what they're doing. They got those five by seven pictures of the players on the table. And what they're doing is they're having the players sign them for the people that attended the show which is nice and Travis McKinney if you're out there your mom was sitting right to my right Judy and your dad Larry was sitting right there in fact your dad got sick of my voice he moved two chairs away <laughs> he moved two chairs yeah I know it's tough I have a hard time listening myself <laughs> having a conversation with your dad right now if you're out there in the chat Anyway, Earl Strickland won day one, which was the nine ball bank game. They're signing autographs. I mean, the crowd is just around. Let me see if I can get over there. There you see John Mora. I'm going to keep both players in camera view right there. John Mora on your right sign in. Earl Strickland in the background sign in next to the Simonis banner. They have five by seven pitches, and they are signing them for the fans that attended the show. And those are the pitches that I'm going to ship out to the winners. It's only right, right? What else? I wish I could do more. And, the, you know, the players are approachable, you know what I mean? So if you ever come to one of these uh, events, uh, the Turning Stone, there's plenty of players from around the world come there. They are approachable. Raffle tickets, raffle tickets. And I'll tell you what, the raffle tickets are pretty cool here. It's like five, you get five of them. I will, Darren, I'll give you a buzz. I don't know if I'll be leaving tonight or not. Uh, I might stay in the hotel one more night. It gets kind of expensive, but, you know, we're doing it. Uh, I might stay one more night and then leave tomorrow morning. I don't know. Depends how I feel. If I feel up to it, I still got to break down all the equipment load up and then get home so if I leave tonight I'll leave if not I'll leave tomorrow morning I will call you though who wins the cheese it was basically a thousand dollars per principal so Earl Strickland 
wound up winning two disciplines out of the three. But you know what? It was it was more for the pool room, you know, to become popularity for the pool room, you know, to let the locals know. It was put all over the radio up here in Akron. Um, it's a brand new room. It was formerly known as Crown Billiards. They put in all brand new diamond tables, bar tables also in the far back. Uh, the place is brand new. Floor to ceiling the floor. I mean, it's just the ventilation is, is great. They turn the AC on here. You can forget it. Bring your snorkel jacket. Anybody else want raffle tickets? Getting ready to raffle the queue off. Getting ready to $5. raffle it off. Five dollars. Get you five tickets. Folks still hanging around the table, getting their pictures signed. I have mine right here, and that's where they're going to stay. Those are for uh, our folks out there. You're welcome, Jared, and thank you for uh, hanging in there and watching. Appreciate it. Last call for raffle tickets. Five for five dollars. <laughs> Nice crowd here. Great folks, too. Going through Akron, Ohio, you want to stop at the Kings of Billiards. You hate to see it end. If you haven't met the Pearl. Well, you got to meet him. You're welcome, Tessa. Todd. Okay, Todd. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, I got to hold on to your pictures. That's right. You are one of the winners. I'll, I'll see you. Uh, if you don't mind, I'll bring them with me in November. Or if you want me to ship them, just, uh, I believe you sent me your shipping address already in my email. I think I caught glimpses of it. Um, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. We'll keep in touch anyway. We'll be talking. And congratulations. Hey, the Sandman. It's in the house. Did you miss anything? Yeah, you missed us promoting your pool room down in Edison, New Jersey. There you have the Sandman, Ed Ladawi, the owner of Sandcastle Billiards. That's where the Make It Happen event's going to be taking place. Hey, Steve Lomax, let me ask you a question since I see you in the chat. Did you make that break cue for, um, for Earl? I was going to ask him uh, earlier, but I didn't have a chance. I know you, you got him a jump cue. I know he owns one of your jump cues. But he's got some kind of break cue now, and he swears right. by it. Here we go for this cue stick. Here we go, the raffle ticket. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate it. Don't Here, cheat me. don't cheat. <laughs> He's telling. What I forget her name. I think her name is Allison. I forget. Every day I come here for the last few days, there was different girls working. Here we go. The winner of the Nick Vaughn Q. Oh, you didn't make the break cue. Okay. Hey, guess who won the cue stick? <laughs> the announcer that's been doing the public announcing here. <laughs> that gentleman right there with the purple shirt and the glasses. He's won the cue stick. Well, he's got a whole roll of tickets in front of him. They're verifying the numbers now. Yes, I know you got him a jump cue. In fact, I know the last one that he left in the pool room and got carried away by somebody else. I don't know who, but uh, I know you did send him one overnight. I know I was talking to Larry Ross. In fact, Larry Ross is uh, out there watching the stream also. Okay, we got verification. <laughs> and the gentleman that's been doing the announcing on the PA system has won the Nick Vonnegut. 
It's a beautiful thing. Rigged. <laughs> Yeah, our information uh, as far as our streams are uh, coming up, we'll let you know via the social network. You can follow me on Facebook, Upstate Al, or Twitter, uh, Livestream News 1. Or you can follow us on AZ Billiards and go to azbilliards.com under the live stream, and I post next events coming up right in there. I will, Eddie. I, I, I will. If I, uh, if I get a chance, I, I would love to stop by. Well, the crowd is starting to disperse, moving from the back of the room. And some of them are moving up front, and some of them have already exited the building. There's Johnny Winters in the back there. Actually, is a guitarist. Had a conversation with him. Knows his stuff, that's for sure. You're welcome, Rusty, and thank you for viewing. Appreciate it. The Kings of Vapor, you can see the banner, Simona's banners all around the place. We want to thank everybody. The Tap League, La Casse Cues, AZ Billiards, AccuStats, everybody involved in stream business. Be guest and enjoy a meal or two on me while you're here. Oh, Eddie, you just opened a can of whoopa. You want, you want to feed me? You, you'd rather throw some clothes on me than feed me. <laughs> you're welcome, Snook, and thanks for all your help. Enjoy your snack. That's my Facebook page, Darren Myers. Just put up a link to uh, thank you, Darren. What a great crew. I tell you, you see Focus the Peril on the back of that sweatshirt. That's my son, Joseph, on scene. There's some of the crew from the pool room. In fact, that is the crew. Three girls. The three, uh, the three girls, yeah. Uh, Chad Bowling, his dad, and I believe the gentleman... Standing with him with the gray shirt. To the right is a gentleman that works in the back here. They have a a lathe and they do repairs and you know tips, you know, the whole nine yards. Free linen. All in the back. Enclosed room with ventilation. Real professional setup. I tell you what, the way they did this room up is pretty cool. Right. We love our food. Well, with that big we you got there. Include me. I know you got a great place there. All right, looks like uh, I'm going to let the cameras. I'm going to let the camera sit where it is. That's about the most of the people that are left in the room are there and towards the back. It was great meeting the owner of Fiddlesticks, which is another pool room that's down the road here, about 20 to 30 minutes, and I got to stop by there and see Chris and see that room before I get out of Dodge. Maybe hit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That's up here. Take some pictures and I'll put them up. I don't know. Things are up in the air. All right, guys, I'm, I got to take a break. <laughs> 